everybody. I believe with all my heart that once you have tasted or pressed into the presence of the Lord and experienced His goodness and mercy for yourself, your whole being yearns to walk continuously in the Spirit. You desire to operate more fully in the supernatural power of God. Well, did you know that that desire is not just a human response for a supernatural encounter? It's God's divine influence on our hearts to become consistent in our walk with Him. John 8, 31 to 32 says, So Jesus said to those Jews who had believed in Him, If you abide in my word, hold fast to my teachings and live in accordance with them, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The word abide in that translation means to continue. Jesus is saying that if we desire to walk in a deeper or higher level of freedom in the Spirit, the way to get there is to continue to remain in the truth of His Word. Colossians 1, 23 teaches the same principle. It says we are to stay with and in the faith, well grounded, settled, steadfast, not shifting or moving away from the hope that we have in the Gospel. Wow, that is some powerful truth right there. To continue with and in the faith means to consistently be well-grounded, settled, steadfast, and rooted in the Word of God. That's how we're going to walk in a new freedom of the Spirit and operate more fully in His supernatural power. As we daily meditate on His Word and allow the Holy Spirit to minister it to us, His divine influence will change our lives to line up with its truth. We will walk in the glorious benefits of being consistent in the faith. Let's make every day a supernatural one.